Hello, hello. Welcome to Shading Why. I'm Marilyn, and today we have a Friday mix-up, which is um, we're doing a 15-piece thread-up mixed rescue box that I've already taken out of the bag uh, or out of the box versus um, our local jewelry auction, um, a sterling lot. So let's see who has the better box. If you haven't been here before, my name is Marilyn, my husband's name is Barry, and we are resellers. We sell on multiple platforms, and we bring everything to you first. Um, a couple things. Um, if you're interested in something, you send us an email to one shadyandy at gmail.com. In your email, you just send us a um, timestamp and a description of each piece you are interested in. Also, we need your mailing address if you haven't already done so. Um, shipping is $5 in the United States. Um, under a pound, anything over a pound or outside the United States is based on where you're located. We do videos Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Um, we post at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We do occasional other days, but those are just surprise videos and um, we also do shorts daily that post generally around 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And a couple um, other things. We do a sold list the next day by 2 o'clock in our um, videos. We put that in the first comment section. I think that's it. I can't think of anything else. Oh, um, I am going to offer this ring. Um, this is the first time I'm offering it. It is my own personal ring. I purchased it for myself. I couldn't get over it. I love it. Um, I think they're calling this, um, it's a real shell that has been painted. Um, and they call it a uh, tit titanium sunshine shell. Um, and um, it does have a little bit of, of loss of the... Um, color here it is a sterling silver prong set um, made just for the shell it is a beautiful ring it is a size nine and a half and because it is an open base um, it will fit um, pretty far on most of my um, fingers so it's kind of open but the smallest is the size that I gave you it is a beautiful ring and I'm going to do this one for $45 if anybody's interested but I love that I've got to make some room I keep buying rings and I'm not selling them and I have a um, ring this is my own personal rings they are not for sale and I'm stacking them in multiple slots and it's like I'm not going up to a bigger size but I've got to start getting rid of some rings so let's push the auction uh, purchases over to the side let's open this um, bag this is from Mechanicsburg Pennsylvania and it is the 15 piece um, auction bag nice i do also do combined shipping i send invoices once a week um, on saturdays so you can order throughout the week and i'll do combined shipping and invoicing and let's see what's in here hopefully we have something good we've been getting some pretty good bags lately um so whatever we get hopefully they're in good condition that's what we really want to see with um, these 15 piece, no missing um, uh, rhinestones or stones, not too much wear, that kind of thing. Okay, uh, beautiful. We have a Kendra Scott um, cuff, beautiful. Let's see, it does have um, like, like some hairspray it is signed Kendra Scott right here. This one is pretty. Um, love that. It is in um, like an acrylic 
with like pieces of abalone in there. That's an interesting one. I haven't seen this one before. This is a size seven and you can um, move this slightly. It does have a little bit of play, not a lot. And on the Kendra Scott, I'm going to do, let's do $30 on the cuff. Next we have Estella and Dot Statement Necklace. In green and a gold wash. All right, that's pretty. Um, there's no missing um, acrylic balls. And I do like this chain a lot. It is a large lobster clasp. It is 18 inches with a two and a half inch extension. And on this one, let's do, let's do $15 on the Stella and Dot. Next up, we have this one. It looks sterling. We love sterling. Let's see. Yeah, it says sterling. It says 925. And let's get out our loop and see what is next to the 925. Definitely looks like real um, turquoise. It is a lobster clasp. It's nicely weighted too, let me tell you. It says 925. I think it says P-E. I'm going to have to do a little bit of research on that. That is gorgeous. Love these um, hinged pieces. This is a really nice quality um, bracelet. It is size seven and a half. Um, that would look good next to my um, watch, <laughs> but, um, actually that is, even though it says seven and a half, it is a little shy. So if you really wanted it, um, if I wanted it, let me rephrase that. I would have to put a couple links on it. So let me put this on the sizer and see what size it says. It does say seven. So, I'm going to do, this is really nice. I think this is a really quality turquoise and sterling piece. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and test it so you can see the sterling. I already know it's sterling because of the feel of it. And once you do jewelry enough and you start, um, even get out your own jewelry, um, it has a buttery feel whenever you put your hand over it. Whereas like a silver tone would be, not smooth um so you just start to feel that and you and you know what silver sterling silver feels like so that's one of those things that you pick up when you do too much jewelry <laughs> there's our blue so it is sterling and this turquoise is definitely real um gorgeous you can see all the um definition and the um, uh, different shades. This is really interesting the way they have faceted these stones with like a hammered um, cut to them. Uh, wow, I found our bracelet. It um, They're saying it's Native American. I'm not a hundred percent that it's Native American. It could be Southwestern. It could be um, Native. Um, but they're saying $223.75 there in California. Um, there's also, just like ours, lobster clasp. Um, 
and there's their bag it's hinged just like ours and um, it looks like it is signed by the um, at the same spot uh, so 223 so if anybody's interested in this this is gorgeous and it's super heavy it weighs 22.1 grams um, and I am going to say let's do 95 love that next we have a Nineteen twenty-eight faux um, gold tone, faux pearl. It's not faux. <laughs> it's a gold tone faux pearl necklace. Nineteen twenty-eight actually does really good on their um, necklaces or jewelry. They've been in business um, a long time, and they just do remake jewelry um they're good about not um saying that their pieces are vintage well, some of them actually are now but um they just do jewelry in the style of vintage time and they do it really really well and this one um i'm going to say let's do eight dollars that's pretty um next we have a J. Crew necklace. Um, this one is nice. Oh, there's a rhinestone right there. And it came right there. That's easy enough to fix. It's good whenever it's in there. <laughs> Because that would really not be cool. This is super nice. This is one of their nicer pieces. Um, these rhinestones are beautiful. I will fix this. I will reattach the rhinestone um, to its spot right there. And let's see how long this is. It is a gold tone. Look at that chain. That is very interesting. Love that. Um, so it is a gold tone with the uh, Life Preserver class. It is 16 inches with a 2 inch extension. I will fix this and I'm going to say let's do $18 for the J Crow and the rhinestone will be reattached. So there, I'm gonna put that back in there so I don't lose it. Uh, this is pretty. This is a Betsy Johnson, I'm gonna assume. Yes. Are we still her jewelry? Um, she has a certain look. Uh, this is pretty. Please have no missing rhinestones. <laughs> oh, lovely. Love this. No missing rhinestones on a super long chain. Gold tone. Love that bow. There's our Betsy Johnson. The BJ on one side, the Betsy Johnson on the other. This is, as I said, like kind of an antique gold tone. It is 34 inches with a two and a half inch extension. The bow with no missing rhinestones is two and five eighths of an inch by one and a quarter. And I'm going to say, um, love that. Let's do $35 for the Betsy Johnson. We have another Kendra Scott, it looks like. Yes. Okay. So far, so good. A long chain. This one, I just sold one like it, but ours was in black. Isn't that nice with that mother of pearl? I'm not sure if that's a real mother of pearl. It might be. Um, I think she does use like mother of pearl, abalone, things like that. This is the one with the large tassel. 
it is a nice light gold tone. It is a nice long chain. Here's the Kendra Scott in the bar, plus her little logo. Lobster class, good condition, very good condition. The one I just sold had a scratch on it. This one looks really nice. 30 inches plus a two inch extension. Let's see. From the tip to tip of the pendant, it is five and a half inches by one inch. And I'm gonna say, let's do, let's do $22 on that one. This is a really nice one. Next, we have a ring. Looks like an enamel and gold tone ring. It is signed J. Crew. Let's see. Can you see that? J. Crew right there. That's pretty. It's a yellow enamel. This one is in really good condition. Um, slight little um, wear, not much. Um, it is a size eight. That is pretty. I like the yellow. Um, yeah, there is no wear as far as the tone. There is a slight little scratches. But, I mean, I would almost say that this hasn't really been worn. Um, it is in that good a condition. And on the J. Crew ring, I'm going to say let's do, let's do $10. Next, we have a pair of earrings. These are signed. Let's see. These say... I have to get out the loop. What did I do with it? These are clip on, and these are Premier USA. Uh, those are nice, they're like sunflowers. Aren't those pretty? Nice gold tone clip ons, nicely weighted. Love that. And uh, it says Premier USA. Um, Excellent condition. Looks like brand new condition. Doesn't look like any wear to these. They are a one and a quarter round. Oh, let me give you how thick they are. It is about a half inch. And on this one, I'm going to say, let's do... $7 for the sunflower earrings. Next, we have a nice Alexis guitar. We had some of these a couple weeks ago. What was that last week? I don't remember. I have a bad memory. I'm sure y'all have noticed that. <laughs> uh, so we have a dust bag with it and these beautiful earrings. Um, they are the kind um, that changes with color. It has um, blue on the outside and a bright, shocking pink on the... Uh, no, no pink anywhere to be seen. <laughs> Things just pop out. What? What? No. A blue. Okay, we got that one right. And yellow. All right, we got that one right. I love that shocking yellow. Um, these are pretty, and um, they're signed um, Alexis Pichar right on the clasp, and they come off like so. Um, beautiful. I'm going to say let's do, let's do 45 for the Alexis Pichar. Love those. Those are sweet. Next, we have new on card, Francisca, $18 original price. They are a juicy drop. Aren't those pretty? These are faux druzy um, in a yellow and iridescent purple. Aren't those pretty? 
these are pretty. They are on wires, um, which definitely, anytime we're getting anything right now with um, new on card, um, new with tags, definitely snap those up for um, holiday gift giving because these are good deals um, from any of the YouTube jewelry sellers. And um, <laughs> you can always leave the price on by accident. Oh, I, I didn't know I left that on. I think my sister did that all the time. She was like the absolute best about leaving the price on, but it wasn't <laughs> because she was trying to say, hey, I left this is how much I spent. She generally left the price on because she forgot to take it off. Um, so these are two and a half inch by about, I'm gonna say five eighths of an inch. Um, they were originally $18. So let's say, let's do nine. That's a good deal. Next, we have another pair of earrings. Silver tone. Let's see. They have no bags. Aren't these pretty, though? They look like, um, like an adventuring um, color. I am not, and they are open backed. I do think these might be adventuring. Um, goes up to that jadeite, but I think these are might be too light for that. Let me test the metal. I'm not sure about this. Yeah, the metal is not sterling, but it is a stone. And I'll put um, new backs on these. And on these, I'm going to say, um, because they are real stone, let's do um, $10. Next, we have a pair of J. Crew, new on card. I'm liking these new on card pieces. Um, aren't these pretty? It's kind of like um, macrame or string, um, but really, really tight. And a blue and a gold wash. Um, these don't have what the price were. Um, so on these, I'm gonna say let's do um, let's do ten dollars on these. Those are really pretty. Let me show you what the drop is on these. About two and three eighths of an inch by about one and an eighth. So ten dollars on those. Our bags are falling. Next we have a pair of earrings. These are marcasites. Let's just be sure nothing's missing. All right, let me look with the loop, just to be sure. Unfortunately, we have one. That looks like it is broken right there. Let me go in tighter. It's either missing um, right there or uh, broken, unfortunately. These are sterling. They say nine two five. And um, the backs also are signed that say nine two five. 
I think it says STH. Um, but since one of the marcasites are missing, I can repair that. I have extra marcasites, or I can just sell them the way they are. If I'm selling them just the way they are because they are sterling silver, I'm still going to um, do $10. But if you want the marcasite repaired, I'm going to do, um, I'll do $18. Um, but these are really nice little huggies. Um, so sterling on those. And the last piece we have is also a sign piece. So this is a completely signed or at least um, precious metal or um, gemstones. This is an Alex Anani new with tag. It says it is Swarovski crystal beaded peta. Um, and it is missing the little price tag. That is really pretty gold tone. Um, and I'm going to say these are kind of like um, a watermelon color. Those are sweet. And as always, this is adjustable. And on this one, new with tag, I'm going to say let's do, let's do $18 Alex Anani Swarovski new with tag. I'm not upset whatsoever with this um, bag or, or box from um, ThreadUp. I don't even mind that the one marker side is missing, considering everything we got is um, named. And um, uh, we also got Sterling Silver. We got Alexis Batar. We got... Um, uh, two, um, Kendra Scott, so excellent. So let's count these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15. So we did get 15 pieces. Okay, so yay, well done to thread up. Let's see what we get from the auction. Okay, so here is the sterling and gemstone. Even though it says gemstones, I don't see any gemstones here. Um, there is shell. And there is glass, cubic zirconia. Uh, this is glass. So um, that's just should be say sterling. Um, oh, well, let's take that back. It kind of is sterling, but it's not from this lot. These um, were purchased or requested um, from a previous video the other day. And then they changed their mind. Um, so these are back being available. They are sterling silver, fabulous. These are from the um, estate auction. And um, they are um, sterling silver, amethyst, citrine, uh, peridot. And I believe um, per one of our wonderful subscribers, um, said that she was thinking these might be iolite. So they are on sterling silver marked um, wires. They are an inch for the very top, an inch to about two inches, and then from the bottom of the wire, about an inch and a half. And I am going to still stay with the same price that these are available for $35. Aren't they gorgeous? Love them. Let's do the earrings first. Um, these are just sterling silver. Everything I have tested ahead of time. So um, we don't have to stop and test. Um, 
and um so these are just like cute little sterling silver buttons and um they are small nice little studs they are a half inch and a dome on them of about uh about a half inch also and i'm just gonna say let's do 12 dollars for those and then we have these um, and these are all sterling silver unless I tell you otherwise. Um, these are marked, um, and they're sterling silver, Hockey Mom, um, cute little Hockey Mom um, earrings. And they are on wires. They are about seven eighths of an inch by about, um, I'm going to say three quarters of an inch. And I'm going to say $12 on those. Then we have these cute little hockey sticks with a little hockey puck, sterling silver on wires. These are about an inch and a quarter also by half inch. I'm gonna say $12 on those. These cute little sterling silver huggies. Um, they look like that from the side, like so. I'm going to say $12 on those. And then these um, balls that are um, open hearts. And on these, um, let's see, they are about a half inch by an inch. And I'm going to say, let's do um, $12 on those. Now we have these, which are really nice. These are solid sterling silver with 14 karat gold balls on wires. And they are an inch and a half by about three eighths of an inch. And on these, I'm gonna say $30. Then we have this, um, uh, Lauren G. Adams, uh, Vermeer, um, Cubic Zirconia, um, 16 inch Rolo chain with a two inch extension, lobster clasp. And um, let's see, on the back of one of these, there is one missing rhinestone right there. Um, these go for about $100 to $200. Um, new. However, this is not new and it does have a missing um, uh, rhinest uh, cubic zirconia. And these are um, uh, clover um, shaped. And on this, I'm just going to say um, $12. Um, beautiful piece. And it would be on the back that that one is missing and you really don't notice it, but it's on the back. So I'm just gonna do $12 on that though. We have a snake chain um, bracelet that is eight and three quarters of an inch with a lobster clasp. It is marked 925. It's been also tested. And I'm gonna say uh, $15 on the um, really nice size um, snake chain. Next, we have this crucifix. This is a stunner. This is super heavy. It is on a small um, curb chain. Um, it is a Creed Mark Sterling. Um, it has the marks of like a wood tone to it. It um, is a nice long chain with a spring class, sterling spring class, and it is marked. And it is a uh, 24 inch chain, and the crucifix is two inches by an inch and a quarter. And I'm going to do um, $50 on this. The chain and this is just stunning. Love that piece. This is a cute piece. This is normal is boring. It's a, um, it says LV. I'm not sure who LV is. 
um, cute little beads. This is glass. This is a um, like a copper. This is faux pearl. It is on a, a rope chain that is gorgeous. It is a lobster clasp. It is marked um, 925, but I'm going to... Um, I don't remember if I tested this chain. I did test this part. I just don't remember if I tested this chain. It feels sterling, looks sterling. Oh, just wanna be sure. So it is a sterling um, chain, uh, rope chain that is beautiful, um, gorgeous size. It is, 18 inches and the little um, pendant is two and a quarter inch by three quarters of an inch. And I'm just really pricing this for the chain. Um, not very much um, on this because it isn't sterling. So I'm gonna say, let's do 25 on that one. Now this is gorgeous. This is a Y um, chain. I mean, a wine necklace with glass beads. And these are, um, these real pearls? Uh, no, these are not real pearls. It doesn't feel like they're real pearls. Um, but these are a stunning blue cobalt um, glass. And then they're on a sterling silver um, Rolo chain, beautiful Rolo chain, with a spring clasp. Um, it is a small little clasp. Um, it is 19 inches to the V, and then an additional inch and three fourths. Um, but the entire glass part if you just went from the top to the bottom, is an inch and a half. This is so pretty, and that chain is gorgeous. But I'm just going to say um, $20 on that one. Now, this one is glass. This is silver tone. Um, it's a bicone bead on a snake chain that's sterling silver with a... Um, um, spring class. The chain itself is 18 inches and the glass pendant is two inches by an inch by about three eighths of an inch. And on this one, I'm going to say, let's just do $18. Now this is adorable. This is a far-fetched sterling silver cat on a stunning um smooth snake chain um with a um spring roller clasp um the chain is marked italy 925 um and i have not seen this cat before it is a beauty the chain is 16 inches and the cat is an inch and a half by about a half inch and on this one I'm going to do $22 I love that one and the last piece we have is a real shell cameo this is um, sterling silver um, it's marked on the bale it's signed Mona um, beautiful floral. It is on a curb chain that's sterling silver with a spring um, clasp. It is real shell. Let's see if we can see through it. Yeah, there's a real shell. Just a beauty. This is 18 inches. With the bail, the cameo is an inch and about five eighths by almost an inch. And on this one with the chain, I'm going to say, let's do 
Oh, that's so pretty. I'm going to say let's do $40 on this one. There's just so much here. It's crazy. Um, I loved the 15 piece. I loved the um, Sterling lot. Um, the Betsy Johnson, this turquoise piece. I mean, it just goes on and on um, with how great um, both of these lots were. Let me know what you think. Was the Sterling lot the best or the 15 piece? Let us know in the comments. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. We would greatly appreciate it. We appreciate you spending a little bit of your day with us, and we will see you on the next one. Bye.